Hi. Welcome. I'm Lisa G. The shocking truth about motivation. The secret to achieving success in every area of your life is to develop motivation. It helps you to avoid temptation and distraction, which in turn helps you to crush your goals. As a successful person, you already know that motivation influences achieving your goals in business. However, success in weight loss doesn't come from what you do occasionally. It comes from what you do consistently. David Beckham. What you need are the strategies and habits to stay motivated that help you to hit your weight loss goals. If you've ever struggled to stay motivated to diet or exercise, even when you want to lose weight, you're not alone. This is because motivation alone doesn't work. Let me know where you guys are tuning in from. I'm Lisa G in Santa Monica. This video is about what does work so that you can succeed in your weight loss goal because motivation doesn't show up every day. Leave a one if you're here live or a two if you're catching me on the replay. When you first decide to start a diet or an exercise routine, you'll need motivation. But motivation alone doesn't work because motivation comes and goes. There are going to be times when you just don't have it and you don't feel motivated, even when you have a great reason why you should be motivated. There will be days when that's simply not enough. Let me know in the comments if you can relate. So what does work? if motivation doesn't. Habits are what keep you going. Once we create a pattern or routine, the human brain is hardwired to repeat that routine. If you've created a healthy nutrition or workout routine, even on the days that you don't feel like it, you do it anyhow, because that's what you do. So you don't need to have motivation if you have a habit. You're just going to keep doing what you're doing. Let me know who's already doing this. So rather than trying to think of how to get yourself motivated, think of how you can change your habits and create a better routine. Here are seven tips to change your habits. Tip number one is to try to pair a healthy habit with a health habit you already have. For example, you already eat lunch every day, so why not start taking your vitamins with that lunch? You won't ever forget to take your vitamins that way because you're probably not going to skip lunch. That's tip number one. Tip number two is you can break up with bad habits by unpairing them. For example, if you tend to snack while watching TV at night, read a book instead or listen to something like a podcast, anything that will occupy your mind when you're tempted to snack. That's tip number two. Tip number three is another good habit is to brush your teeth as soon as you're done eating. This will help you break up with snacking between meals. Usually when you brush your teeth, that signals your brain that you're done eating. It also creates a minty taste that you don't want to mess up with food. And tip number four is you can form new habits by recruiting a buddy. Take your dog for a walk every morning or meet your spouse at the gym before or after work. If you recruit someone else to do it with you, then you are just keeping a commitment to yourself, but also to someone else. 
I guarantee that dog isn't going to allow you to skip that morning walk when you've made it a routine. Tip number five is to keep a bottle of water with you at work all day long to make sure you get your water in. And tip number six is to take the stairs every day at work or at home instead of the elevator. This goes for me too, working from home. And tip number seven is to just reach out to one of your friends or coworkers to suggest taking a 15 minute walk each day at lunch to chat. Exercise is so powerful for feeding your mind and changing up the way you feel in these uncertain times. Pick one thing, either start walking your dog every day, pick a workout that you're committed to doing, just something to move your body on a daily basis to get in 20 minutes of exercise. I am committed to working out. Who else is with me? I'm Lisa G reminding you that you are the CEO of your health and wealth without health is not success. Commit right now to one habit that's going to carry you through when motivation won't. For more information on crushing it, message me or type in now, yes, that's me. I'll check all the comments. Thank you guys so much for coming.